Hello, this is Samar Ramdani and you are watching Samar Ramdani on YouTube. Today, we are discussing about Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise may be one of the craziest actors working in Hollywood right now. And that's largely due to his obsession with doing all his own stunts. The payoff includes some of the best action sequences in the business. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to calm down with us the craziest moments in the impossible series. Before we get started, through be sure to subscribe my Samar Hamdani channel. So, and also hit the bell icon. Huh. So, helicopter sequence. Helicopter scenes and Mission Impossible Fallout could have easily been filmed in a studio or with a professional stunt double. But Tom Cruise isn't gonna let anyone do the hard work when he can deliver the goods. So, Cruise did the only sensible thing and learned how to fly a helicopter in order to do the shot. Cruise learned how to fly a helicopter in a matter of months while the crew developed special camera rigs to show us he really is flying on his own through a mountain passage. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, Cruise also dangled from the side of a helicopter as he cracked an attempt to uh, commandeer the vessel in the sky. And the final result is one of the most nailing biting sequences ever in action movie history. And the halo jump, high altitude, low opening or halo is an extremely dangerous jump from an aeroplane that requires the jumper to wear a specialized suit to aid with breathing generally. It's reserved for specialized military personnel. Normally when films have this kind of sequence, it's used with doubles or inside a studio. Tom Cruise, however, decided he was going to be the first actor to ever be filmed doing a halo jump on camera for a film. The stunt was a part of the filming for Mission Impossible Fallout. The jump took place at over 2500 feet and Cruz had to wear a specialized prop helmet that would prevent him from getting oxygen sickness. The time of day and weather were edited in post but the jump itself was for real. Hanging off the side of a plane. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation is one of the craziest films in the franchise and it wastes no time in showing you how crazy it is. The film opens up in the middle of a mission and Ethan Hunt has to intercept a cargo plane. But he's a bit tardy and the plane is already moving. So he does the only sensible thing, jumps on the plane and hangs on as the plane takes off. Cruise was attached to a safety cable which is a good thing considering how crazy this stunt is. Bearing in mind the speed of the plane and the force of the wind spinning Cruise down while doing the shot, we can agree this is one of his craziest stunts ever. Climbing the Burj Khalifa Easily a high point of the entire franchise is when Tom Cruise climbed the Burj Khalifa skyscraper in Ghost Protocol. This was one of the craziest stunts Cruise has ever done. The scene could have easily been replicated with sets and CGI but that wasn't good enough for Tom Cruise. Using support cables, Cruz was able to scale and swing around the high rise which peaks at high 830 meters to the very top to the actor had an airpiece to take directions from Brad Bird and the crew had camera rigs jetting out of the windows to get some of the incredible shots. Motorcycle sequence Besides running, Tom Cruise movie just doesn't feel complete without an awesome motorcycle sequence. The Impossible series has quite a few of these and they're all amazing. But we had to pick one. It would have to be the Moroccan chase sequence in Rogue Nation where Cruz is riding a bike over a mountainous and curvy highway at high speeds without a helmet, while he also speeds through Paris and fall, uh, in Fallout having the scene set over the cliffs and curves of the mountains at breakneck speeds make this scene even more thrilling than the big city chase with all the traffic obstacles. Cliff the climbing Dead Horse Point high. Mission Impossible 2 no may be directed by the great John Wu but it generally ranks as the least favorable among all the films in the series. But that doesn't mean the film is devoid of awesome stunts. The movie actually hits the ground running with an impressive sequence that would rattle the minds of most immortals. Crew scales the Dead Horse Point cliffs in Utah using only his hands like most of his super dangerous stunts. He had a very small safety cable just in case, but he adamantly refused to use any set safety nets when doing the awesome sequence. Not only did he save some money on editing but nets in post-production, but the resulting footage made the film sequence feel even more impressive. Deep Breath 
As Tom Cruise stated in a featured ad for Rogue Nation, most actors on set hold their breath for around 10 to 15 seconds when doing an underwater sequence before an oxygen supply is given to them. Cruise felt compelled to show everyone he can do the underwater tourist scene in Rogue Nation for much longer than that. Well, the tank details were green screen later in order to control the lightning and the turbine. The water tank itself was very real and Tom learned how to hold his breath for six and a half minutes for the scene. While the scene itself isn't one take, the fact that Cruz went out of his way to learn how to deep sea dive with experts showed his commitment for excellence. Knife to the eye. In the climax of the second impossible film, Cruz's Ethan Hunt finds himself in showdown with the villainous Sean. The two engage in a martial arts fight scene that's cut short when Sean draws a knife. At one point, he pins Hunt down and we see the knife held in place a quarter of an inch from his eyeball. That shot was done for real and Tom was okay with it. The secret lies with what you don't see outside of the frame. The knife which was real attached to a precision cable that was measured to a quarter of an inch from Crew's eyes. When Sean swung the knife down, the cable would lock the knife in place a quarter of an inch from his eyeball. Talk about having faith. A, bit, a minute ago you were dead. What are you talking about? So well that's it for now. Subscribe my channel for more informative videos not only about films but about international news, politics and about health. So Samarandani.